Hi, I'm Margaret Flowers, and I'm running for U.S. Senate with a systems-changing, solutions-based campaign. As the youngest of five kids in a single-parent home, it was always my dream to build a career that would make life easier for others than it was for my family. I worked hard, put myself through school, and became a pediatrician. After 17 years in medical practice, I left because of the extreme injustices I saw in our healthcare system. When the father of a friend of mine found out he had a brain condition, he felt he faced a stark choice. Seek treatment and put his family into debt, or quietly exit the world. So one day while his daughters were out, he put sticky notes on all of the things he had borrowed so they could be returned. He settled his credit cards, and then he called 911 so his body could be removed before his daughters came home. Then he ended his life. The things I see in our unjust healthcare system, I see everywhere. The overwhelmed and unappreciated teacher. The student, nervous about repaying tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in loans. The overworked and undercompensated wage earner. It's a system that values profits more than people. I worked with members of Congress to put a national Medicare for All healthcare system on the table. But even with Democrats in the House, the Senate, and the White House, it was off the table. The voices and needs of the people mean nothing next to industry's money and influence over our political system. But that's changing. In Richmond, California, people elected Green Party candidates. They worked together to rein in Chevron, a big polluter. There are over 100 Green candidates in office across the United States. I'm running as a Green because we don't take corporate money, because we work to end wasteful military spending and make sure our schools get the funding they need, and to transition to a green energy economy in a way that's fair to workers. We work to end the drug war and over jailing, and to make sure that healthy food, efficient transit, and internet access are no longer luxuries. My opponents depend on a system that works against these solutions. Don't empower that system. Change it. Vote Margaret Flowers for U.S. Senate.